The thing about jumping is you've just got to believe you can. Right. OK, when I was a Joey, I thought I'd never be able to jump. Then one day in the pouch, I just decided I would. And you know what? I could. Yeah, Froggy, watch us. We jump, 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 up the stump, stump, stump. Then we hop, 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 till we stop, stop, stop. So tell yourself you can jump, then you will. I know you can. Mm -hmm. Bella's mother was amazed. Well, what are you doing, Bella? It's so early in the morning. Early smelly. I've been up for hours. Well, what for? Well, I couldn't sleep, but I also wanted to get the chairs ready for my friends to sit on. Bella, you better have a sleep before your friends arrive or you'll be too tired for your party. No, I won't. I can't close my eyes, cos then I won't see all of the things going on around me. There. Hmm. As soon as Samantha took the next book off the shelf, it grew and grew and grew. And out peeped. Oh dear, no sheep here either. I've lost them all again. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Little Bo Peep. I'm a shepherdess. But I'm always losing my sheep. I lose them every day of the week. Here, little bar lambs. Mm, don't tell me. You've just jumped out the nursery rhyme book, haven't you? Of course! <laughs> look, 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 it's a nursery rhyme book. It's the best sort of book to read. It won't take you ages to read all the pages. It's the best sort of book to read. Wow! Well, there's no sheep here. Well, maybe Little Boy Blue knows where they are. Bye! Bye! The nursery book shrank back down to normal size again. Wow! So that day, Sam took three books home from the library. A joke book, a book of nursery rhymes, and a history book. Hooray! <gasps> what was that? Um, no one, Mum. Uh, just my pretend book friends. I know. Hey, Charlie, can you help me for a sec? Hey, Kathleen. Hey. Can you hold this for me, please? Oh, no problem. Excellent. Six. Now it's got windows, but it doesn't have bricks. It's my little house that's made of sticks. There, two houses. Mm -hmm. One little and one big. <laughs> Let's go show the others. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love visiting my grandma. We always have the best adventures together. On this particular... Brianna, today I'm going to show you through my special box of memories. Oh, fantastic, Gran! Brianna wasn't exactly sure what was in Grandma's box of memories, but she was keen to find out. Mm, these are some pictures from my wedding day. Oh. oh, Brianna, do you remember these? It's your knitted jumper and beanie that I knitted you. <laughs> but they're so tiny! I couldn't have ever fitted into them. Oh, but you did. But I couldn't have ever been that small. Once you were tiny and you couldn't talk. You goggled and you googled and you couldn't walk. But time passed so fast. And you've grown so strong. A skipping and a dancing. Now your legs are long. That can't be true. I was never small enough to fit into these. Come on, let's go on a special adventure and find out, Brianna. Okay. So Brianna's grandma took her into the spare room where there was a great big special looking sparkly silver machine. Brianna didn't know what it was. This is a magic time machine, Brianna. All I have to do is turn this dial and we can travel back through time. We can go back and see what it was like when you were a baby. Want to try? Of course Brianna wanted to try it. Of course I want to try. OK, we'll turn the dial to baby time. And come on, here we go. One, two, three. The machine rattled and shook, and then suddenly it stopped. Arriving at baby Brianna time. Wah, wah. Grandma, look how big you are. And look how small you are, Brianna. Just a baby. Now I am tiny and 
and I sure can't talk I gurgle and I google, I can hardly walk But time will pass so fast And I'll grow so strong I'll be skipping and a dancing When my legs are long <laughs> Oh, I can hardly walk Ah, uh, Gren, could I go back to being big now before I... Oh, you don't yeah. like wearing nappies. <laughs> OK, I'll just turn the dial to child time. Back where you were before. Come on, then. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. The machine rattled and shook, and then suddenly it stopped. Brianna had time travel back to her normal eight-year-old size. Ah, <sighs> phew! I'm glad I'm back to being an eight-year-old. I was really small, but now I'm a big girl. Hey, uh, what else have you got in there, Gran? Plenty. And one day, Brianna, you'll be a grown-up and have your own box of memories. I think we have to parachute down. Ready? <gasps> <sighs> Made it! Oh, Charlie, you found my Ellie. Thank you so much. You know, this is the second time today it's been rescued, Kathleen. Yeah, she's a very adventurous elephant. <laughs> this is my budgie. She's called Benny. Tweet, 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 tweet. I'm Benny. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Hey, what about me? <laughs> yes, you helped save Dizzy too. Tweet, 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 tweet. But he's, he's really sad. That's why I was coming to get you. Sad. Uh, uh, uh. I just saw Tim smiling. He's happy. Hey, now I've got to get the other wall for the cubby. One moment. Hey, Charlie, come back with Kathleen. I want you to come and be my wall, a wall that's strong enough for us all. I want a wall to stand up tall, stand up tall and be my wall. My two walls. Oh, and doesn't Kathleen make a cute wall? Oh, I need a door. One moment. Do you know what you Come on, Lucy. Come on. Good kitty cat. Come on. Try and wake our sleepy sister, Milia. Meow, meow. Good kitty cat. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Do as I say. Wake up, wake up. It's a brand new day. Wake up, wake up. Please don't delay. Wake up, wake up. It's time to play. But still, Millie kept on sleeping. I'm teaching Kathleen the Chinkle Winkle game, but it's a bit different. Instead of using hats, we've got to guess what each other's going to do. Right, Kathleen? Mm, I guess. OK, so this is what we've got. Hands on shoulders, mm -hmm. hands on heads, and hands on cheeks. OK, so when we stop singing, we have to do one of those moves and try and make it the same, OK? I'm thinking, you're thinking, can we do the same? One, two, three. It's a Chinkle Winkle game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do it again. I'm thinking, you're thinking, can we do the same? One, two, three. It's a Chinkle Winkle game. Oh, okay. One more time. <laughs> I'm thinking, you're thinking, can we do the same? One, two, three. It's a Chinkle Winkle game. <laughs> we got it. We yeah. got the same. Chinkle, Chinkle Winkle. Winkle. Uh, Change the music for me, Tim. Yeah, and me. Mm, let's do it together. Yeah. yeah. And okay. then tell us when you're ready. Yeah, All we right. want a surprise. Yep. Move these two down here. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Go. Okay, you can turn around now. All right, I'll give you the first note. You ready? C E G E C E G E C E G E C E G E C. You need ballet shoes. See, look at mine. Eight ballet shoes. Eight ballet shoes? Well, spiders have eight legs, don't you know? Well, with eight legs, how do you dance? Divinely. Watch this. There's nothing quite like a spinning dance. I spin and twirl, spin and twirl. Come on, kitty, just follow my moves. Shake it, spin it, let go. Pretty good, huh? Oh, it's fantastic, Harriet. You know, I think I need some ballet shoes. Well, I think the bug shoe shop has them. Bye. So Kitty dashed back to the bug shoe shop. Kathleen! <gasps> she can't see me. Shh. Oh, maybe she's outside. Mm -mm. 
One day, Bunyip Mum came up with a plan to make Yippy so tired, she'd just have to go to bed. Now this will work for sure. Hey, Yippy! OK, well, there's this race on tomorrow, right, called the Bunyip Marathon. And I've entered you in it. OK, now you're going to be running a very, very, very long way all around Bunyip High. <gasps> Yippee! Well, maybe you should get some rest so you're not too tired for the race. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Too tired? Never. <laughs> Won't sleep, can't sleep, sleep so what you dread. Won't sleep, can't sleep, sleep, I'll never go to bed. So the very next day, all the bunyips gathered at the starting line for the big bunyip marathon. All right, bunyips, on your marks, get set. The bunyips began racing, but it was a very long race. Once they had run all the way to the big rock, they would get... Me, me, yippee! There you go, darling. OK, uh, aren't you tired now? Tired? Come on. Me? <laughs> Not even an incy wincy bit. <laughs> Uh, Suddenly, Bunyip Dad arrived with a great idea to help Yippy sleep. Want milk? Yeah, drink it up, Yippy. It might just work. Yeah. So how do you feel now? I feel... I feel... Mm -hmm. I feel like dancing! <laughs> oh, no! Won't sleep, can't sleep, sleep the word I dread. Won't sleep, can't sleep, I'll never go to bed. <laughs> But Yippy's parents were determined that she just must go to bed. Suddenly, Bunyip Dad had a brilliant idea. Um, <clears throat> Yippy, your room is very, very messy, and uh, seeing as you're awake, perhaps you'd like to clean up your Bunyip bedroom. I can. Whoa, I'm really tired all of a sudden. I think I really need to go to sleep. Yep, I need to sleep. Just the thought of tidying up her room made her go straight to sleep. Yippee! She, she can, can clean, clean her room, room up, up in, in the morning. morning. The woodwind instruments play a stream Flowing down a mountain top Down flute down, happy as a dream Trickling down until you stop Her captain! Me! Admiral Slimpants of the fleet. She's in charge of all the fashion on all the pirate ships of the ocean. Arr. Arr, it's a, it's an honor to meet you, Admiral Slimpants. Arr. Oh, I mean, yes. Now, Captain Puffy Pants, I hear that your pants are too puffy. But, but Admiral, they, they help me to sail the high seas. I'm sorry, but as Admiral of the pirate fleet, I must insist that you change those puffy pants. Besides. Puffy pants are out. Slim pants are all the rage. Really? Yes, really. Change those pants immediately. So Captain Puffy Pants followed the Admiral's orders, and the very next day he wore a brand new pair of pants. Army hearties, I've changed me puffy pants. <gasps> what do you think? Those pants are even puffier. Oh, maybe puffy pants will come back in fashion. Aye. Arr, we'll never fit in the light boat with them pantaloons. Arr, well, we'll just have to find a bigger lifeboat then. Me hearties! His name is Captain Puffy Pants. I love to do a sailor dance. Sing a dance and jingle day. Except me pants get in the way. Hey! 